Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So in today's video, I wanted to share my updated makeup routine. This has been my simple go-to 10 minute makeup routine that I have been loving and following. So you guys watch my videos and y'all are like, girl, the face, the makeup, the... This is it. I actually showed you guys how I learned how to do this makeup routine in one of my recent vlogs. So if you didn't see that vlog, make sure you guys check it out. But I'll be showing you guys all of the steps, all of the products in this makeup routine. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this face right here, mm -hmm, this one, mm -hmm, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, drop a comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I will go ahead and link all of the products that we're going to use in today's video down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check that description box. Everything will be listed in order of use throughout this video for your ease of reference as well as your ease of shopping. They will be affiliate links. So if you guys are in the business of helping to fund Caustic and Study, make sure you guys shop through those links. And if you're not, you could go ahead and search these items on your own on Beyonce's internet, but I know my people them is not like that. So y'all gonna use the links down below either way, but let's go ahead and get into it. So here is my face. I do have acne prone skin. I do have some dark spots. I have some hyperpigmentation. No, my skin is not perfect. Yes, it is okay. So all of the products I'm gonna be using today are safe for acne prone texture sensitive skin i already did my morning skincare routine if you guys want to see that i will link that video up above so my face is it's, it's nice and moisturized okay she's looking nice and glowy but i'm gonna go in with this milk makeup cloud glow primer this has been my go-to primer you only need one pump you only need one pump you just ooh, i love wearing this primer under my makeup and i also love wearing it on its own it just gives the skin like a nice natural glow and it does have skincare benefits in it as well we love a makeup product with skincare benefits we love a makeup product with skincare benefits next up i'm gonna go in with my sephora best skin ever concealer in the shade 50n i'm gonna use this concealer to cover my dark spots that i don't want to peep through because baby we need the face we need the face flawless and this concealer is actually on its last leg i ordered another one of these during the sephora sale so i had to re-up this concealer is my skin tone so i like to use concealers that are my skin tone to color correct that is what works for me i'm gonna hit my lips with this laneige lip balm because listen these babies are dry much better <laughs> now i'm gonna use my sephora collection number 57 brush to blend out that concealer i'm not moving it i'm kind of just like blending it in the spot that we applied it to because we already know that's where we want it to stay So now I'm gonna go in with 35N and we are going to conceal. We're gonna basically apply our highlight here. Well, I feel like that's not in the middle of my nose. And now I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Dark. 
and we're gonna apply our contour So first I'm gonna blend out my contour and then I'm gonna go back in and blend out my concealer. The concealer needs a little bit more time to like, you know, dry, marinate, do what it has to do. The contour, oh, she's ready now. And I'm using this, I don't know where this brush is from, y'all. I had this for years. It says JS on it, I think, or IS. I also like to put some contour on my jawline. I like to save the contour on my nose to blend out after. I'm gonna blend out the concealer, starting with the outside area first. I'm using this the 457 concealer brush once again. And I'm gonna make sure the concealer goes right on the side of my nose where the contour is. And I'm gonna drag that upwards onto my eyelid. I look like a gazelle. <laughs> I look just like a gazelle. That's what it is. I kept thinking, what do I look like? Girl, a gazelle? I'm going to go back in with my contour brush and just Kind of blend between the contour and the concealer. Now I'm gonna blend the contour in my nose area. This contour, I'm just pressing with the brush because I really want it to stay exactly where it is. I don't want no doo-doo nose contour in the middle of my nose. Mm. Just press it with the brush, babe. And I've been loving this little bringing the contour up to my brows. It just does something to my face. It just does something to my face. I can't explain it. And then I like to go back in with my concealer brush and just hit that. Hit that down the middle. Just make sure everything is nice and symmetrical ish so here's the complexion so far now we're gonna go in with our foundation for foundation of course i'm using my lancome teen idol ultra wear foundation because this is literally the best foundation ever i have one pump of my foundation and i'm just going to use this foundation brush to distribute the foundation on my face i'm basically going to apply foundation wherever i didn't put any contour or concealer so mainly down here. And I'm also using this opportunity to clean up this contour, this baby. And I'm also gonna apply some foundation in between here. I've been liking to do that. And then I'm using my Morphe E63 brush to blend it out. It's been brought to my attention that Morphe has discontinued this brush, but they have a new brush that's similar, like the same functionality as far as like foundation. I haven't tried it yet, 
but I definitely want to pick it up and try it out. But I just wanted to tell you guys in case you guys are looking for this brush, it's no longer available for Morphe. These brands need to stop discontinuing stuff that the consumers like. I'm tired of it. And I'm just blending out some foundation. Ooh, the skin look real good. Like, it is sexy. It is sexy. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Love. This is like a beautiful terracotta color, definitely brown girl friendly. And I'm gonna apply some liquid blush on my cheeks. I can't talk as I do this. I try to make sure it's symmetrical. How did I do? How did I do? How did I do? And I'm going to blend out the liquid blush with this sponge. This is from Amazon. I will link it down below. But it's like a soft sponge that just gets it right for me every time. Like, look how seamlessly that blended out. And then I'm also gonna use the same sponge, like a clean side, to pick up any extra concealer before we set it. To set my concealer, I'm using this one size ultimate setting powder in the shade Translucent. I've been loving to set my concealer using a brush. So I'm using this Morphe M5 three six or eight six brush so i'm gonna pick up the setting powder tap off the excess i have to go in with like light hand motions and just press that powder in i'm gonna set like around my mouth too my small lines the Finish of this powder is absolutely flawless. Like, excuse me? She looks like a powdered donut gazelle. <laughs> what? Yeah, this setting powder is literally the truth. And I'm also gonna set my eyebrows for later on. I like to just make sure that they they dry out, they dehydrated a little bit. Give me sexy, give me sexy, give me sexy. I'm gonna go with my powder bronzer. This is the Sephora collection bronzer in the shade Ibiza. This may be discontinued by the time this video goes up, but Sephora basically reformulated and relaunched their bronzers. I actually ordered one of the new ones, so stay tuned for details on that. But currently, these are on sale for six bucks, I think, at Sephora. So if it's still available, the link will be down below. But I'm just bronzing up my face, basically on the same areas where we have put that cream contour. Setting my blush using this Sephora Collection Fascinated Blush. This blush right here, like look at this real quick. I need y'all to look, cause at this point I'm adding Magician to my resume for sure. Do y'all see that? Mm, do y'all see that? This blush is so beautiful and pigmented and just brown girl friendly. Like, what? Babes, first of all, if you've never used like a terracotta orange blush, it is for us. It is for, literally, they made it for brown skin girl. So why would you not use it? Why would you not use it? Sometimes I like to go over a little bit today. I'm gonna take it real easy. I'm gonna take it real easy on them. I'm gonna set my face using my Holy Girl Setting Spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. As that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate my lips. I'm just using some toilet tissue to wipe off my lip balm. 
And I'm using my MAC Cosmetics Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips. Lippy of the day is this Ami Cole Lip Oil. This is the brown shade. Yeah, it doesn't have the name on it, but it's the brown shade. Like, look at how beautiful this is. Brown girl friendly. And this is a black on brand, so that's Sephora. So do what y'all gotta do with that info. Run up them sales for our people them. Excuse me? Excuse me? And this may seem weird to you guys if you guys are used to my makeup videos, but I do my brows last now. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown to just draw on some brows. I can't talk and do this, so I'll be back. And I'm gonna put some bronze on my eyelids. I forgot to do that before I said. <laughs> but I'm just sweeping some of my bronze on my eyelids. We have brows, y'all. We have brows. Moment of silence for these brows, please. Cause they slate. I'm gonna prime my lashes using this Lancome Seals Booster XL. This is a lash primer. It's gonna look kind of scary. I'm telling y'all now, but it's all gonna come together. Mascara, I'm mixing two of my faves. This is the Lancome Lash Idol, and then this is the YSL Lash Clash. This Lash Clash, she does some things, okay? She does a few things. She makes a few points. And on my bottom lashes, I only put the long comb. I don't put the YSL. And then YSL on the top lashes only. Like, oh my god. Why is it black with this mascara? Like, look at the difference. This is with both. And then this is with just a long comb. Y'all see the difference, right? Now I kind of want to put a little bit of the YSL on the bottom, but I, just a little. The reason I don't like putting it is because I find that it kind of like bleeds a little. So the face looks real good. Like, mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. One word. Wow. Two words. Did that. Three words. She looked good. <laughs> like, excuse me. Yeah, it's still kind of wet, so I'm not gonna open it too much. But the face, y'all yeah, know the rules, okay? Face plus hair equals full package. So babes, this is the final look. This is my simple go-to updated makeup routine that I have been following. All of the products, all of the steps. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notifications. Drop a comment down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.